that the history of both America and Indonesia should give us hope. It is a story written into our national mottos. In the United States, our motto is E Pluribus Unum. Out of many, one. Bineka Tungalika. Unity in diversity. We are two nations which have traveled different paths. Yet our nations show that hundreds of millions who hold different beliefs can be united in freedom under one flag. Pat, in May 2005, three Indonesian Sunday school teachers were imprisoned for converting Muslim children to Christianity. Our CBN News Asia team recently visited the three women in prison and they discovered they're still sharing their faith behind bars. Gary Lane has that story. The CBN News team visited Rebecca, Ratna and Etty at the local prison in Indramayo, Indonesia and found them in high spirits. They remain positive even though they've now spent two years in jail for a crime that most people say they did not commit. In 2005, the three Sunday school teachers were put on trial after a group of Muslim radicals in their village accused them of converting their children to Christianity. You know, before I came here, I visited Istiqlal Mosque, a place of worship that was still under construction when I lived in Jakarta. And I admired its soaring minaret and its imposing dome and welcoming space. But its name and history also speak to what makes Indonesia great. Istiqlal means independence. And its, in, its construction was in part a testament to the nation's struggle for freedom. Moreover, this house of worship for many thousands of Muslims was designed by a Christian architect. Such is Indonesia's spirit. Such is the message of Indonesia's inclusive philosophy. Pancasila. Across an archipelago that contains some of God's most beautiful creations. Islands rising above an ocean named for peace. People choose to worship God as they please. An unusual church service. Christians forced to pray on the street under heavy police protection. Their church in West Java was closed by the authorities after pressure from Islamic groups. By praying in the open, they want to put pressure on the authorities to guarantee their fundamental rights. Islam flourishes, but so do other faiths. Development is strengthened by an emerging democracy. Ancient traditions endure even as a rising power is on the move. It is absolutely the failure of the state, the government. It is the very right of the citizen for each and every citizen by our constitution. We have the right to worship our God according to our own belief. Christians praying on the sidewalk right in front of the closed off church, heavily guarded by police. They're asking the government to make more efforts to protect the Christian minority in Indonesia. The stories of Indonesia and America should make us optimistic because it tells us that history is on the side of human progress, that unity is more powerful than division, and that the people of this world can live together in peace. May our two nations, working together with faith and determination, share these truths with all mankind. Sebagai penutup saya mengucapkan kepada Selura Rakyat Indonesia. Terima kasih atas. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum. A mother's grief laid bare. Be at peace now, she says. You're with God. There was nothing peaceful about the way 15 year old Alfita died. She and her friends were ambushed on their way to school. They were killed and beheaded.
At their Christian school on the outskirts of Pozo, life goes on. <laughs>